So I finally brought the A5 to a place I've always wanted to go. So without further ado, I'm going to bring it up Mr. Gary James Knight. Hey guys, Gary James here. Gary James Knight. My fam, they look up to me, now you know I ain't never rest mm. Welcome to the show and welcome to the next Hey everyone, so I wanted to create a very short video before I get into this video There's a few things I want to talk about before I just go into like the actual flying part of this It actually is kind of the responsible thing to do Actually a little longer than three years ago was my first flight in the A5 And uh, then did training and um and and then moved to austin texas and started learning uh the the nuances out here i am so impressed that i've been flying this thing for as long as i have and i'm always having more and more and more fun with it but it takes time to build up that skill set the last thing i want is somebody to watch this video and say oh this is exactly what i want to start doing next week if you buy an a5 and you live close to me of course i'm always happy to fly with you there's <laughs> you're never gonna have to twist my arm to get in the air um but i wanted to re i wanted to iterate that that to this flight was a day where kind of all the stars aligned this is not something that um i i could have necessarily planned but it just happened to work out i was flying with hans and he actually you know in the back of my mind i was thinking man today'd be a great day to go up to hula hut and uh, that's where we were we we're flying on lake austin here i'll share my screen so you can see we we're flying on lake austin right here there's hula hut and upstream from lake austin is lake travis upstream from lake travis is lbj and from there is uh lake buchanan uh, i've been on all these lakes out here and they're all a ton of fun for different reasons um, but Hula Hut is very close to the city. It's uh, it, everybody knows where Hula Hut is, what it is, and what I'd like to just talk about is like the perfect set of circumstances that happened. It was a wind from the south, um, and the airplane uh, weather vanes into the wind. You'll hear me talk about that later in the video. Like you see, it's over 200 feet between that marina and that dock. So I was able to just curl in to this side of the marina, just leather weather vane into the wind and put it right into one of those spots. And then with the wind coming from the south, getting out was going to be easy. We just untie, push off. The wind's going to push us back. Once we're far enough back, start the motor, curve back and turn out. The biggest concern of mine is boats, boat traffic. It can get extremely busy there. There've been times I've wanted to land there and couldn't because it was just way too busy. What was really amazing was we got out there and you'll see in the video, there were no boats. It was, a today, it was just one of those days that the stars perfectly aligned we were able to do that. And I think that I feel like it's a responsible thing to do to just express to people that yes, this product is going to ignite your imagination. It's going to uh, make you look at this, you know, be in situations like I was two years ago, eating at this restaurant, looking at the water, looking at this dock and saying, man, it'd be really cool to bring an A5 here. And being able to bring that imagination to reality is part of my job. And it's really easy to do with this product because it makes me feel like I'm nine years old again and flying an airplane for the first time. I get that level of excitement every time I fly this airplane. Um, however, uh, this is not something that you're going to be doing day one as a, as a owner of an A5. It's going to take time and more importantly, uh, good instruction to be able to build up the skill set to do this. And yes, you can do it. Um, but I, I, I just feel a, a sense of responsibility to make sure that I iterate that to people before they watch this video. But that's really all I have to say. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Once it's in the water, can you, can you like put power on? Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you're still going to have the engine going once it's in the water. Yeah. So, like, could you land in the, before the no wake zone and then like pull up the hula hut type Thanks. thing? Absolutely. Wow. That'd be quite a flex. Well. Today just might be the day for it. A few moments later. It's worth yeah. it or not then. <laughs> yeah. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and slow down. I'm not necessarily getting ready to land, but I'm, I'm going to start prepping the airplane so that when I am ready, I don't have to worry about anything. The plane's going to be ready for it. Start slowing down. Looking at the wind. I want to wait till I get past the bend, and that's when I'm going to land. I'm surprised that it has this much maneuverability and still stays in the green. Yep. Yeah, you won't get close to the yellow until you start getting much, much slower. Which is why what I just did, I just put my flaps down. So we're going to get much slower here in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to land. So power to 3,000. Pitch for that white line. Gear up, flaps down, water rudders up. I'm going to trim for the white line. I got a boat coming out over there, so I'm going to land past that boat's wake. And to make myself go further, I'm not going to pull the nose up, I'm going to add power. Because adding power reduces my descent rate. Here we go. And then about 15 feet over the water, I'm going to pull from the white to the yellow, and I'm going to hold it off the water as long as I can until the airplane's ready to land. Transition to the yellow. There it is, we're on the water. We're already in water. Yeah, we're on the water right now. That was so I've done it a few thousand times. <laughs> well done, man. I honestly couldn't even tell. Thanks, man. I was like waiting for the feeling. Like, yeah, you're just waiting for like da 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 da. <laughs> I mean, I can do it like that too. I just choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's also the fun part is working on that technique. Yeah. You just do that rotation. You want to, you want to like ideally, you want to be like six inches over the water, slight nose up, just not climbing, not descending, just bleeding off that airspeed, just slowing down. The only thing you're doing there is slowing down. So at this point, does this stick do anything? Um, yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna use it to keep my wings level. So if I really push, you'll see that left wing drop. But I don't want to do that. And I want to stay between 25 and 35, not on the ground, because faster than that, I could take off. Yeah, I might, I might seem like an adrenaline junkie, but I'm really a. I think we're all. Why? I think we're all like that. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's calculated. Everything we do is calculated risk. It's just knowing what you're getting yourself into. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find out what direction the wind is coming from. And so if I don't touch anything, the airplane weather vanes into the wind, it looks like it's coming from that direction. So I'll go ahead and drop the water rudder. That'll give me more authority on the water. Wind is coming from which direction? It looks like it's coming from that direction, which is great because the docks are set up so that they're like pronged out, but we'll be able to kind of go into the wind right towards one. Plan is gonna be um, to go ahead I'm going to tell you to shut the engine off. And to do that, all you're going to do is take the key and turn it all the way off. And we're going to coast into the dock slip. Wow. Have like you ever done this before? I've done this a dozen times. But I've also beached the plane a whole bunch, too. 
So I just pulled the flaps up. That's going to give us more directional authority. out does uh, air control have jurisdiction? So it depends on the type of airport. Um, you look at this chart and it shows you. So Austin Bergstrom is that red circle and this inner one is five miles around the airport. And so from the surface to 4,500 feet, they have um, authority. And then that outer circle from 2,100 feet to 4,500 feet, they have authority. They, if you don't comply with their instructions. Yeah, so if I like, let's say I'm flying at 3,000 feet here, and I'm just flying right in, I can get in a lot of trouble. Like they can like arrest you type shit? It would be arrest, they'd like, they'd track my tail number, they'd find out that I was flying it, and then they'd have a nice stern talking to me. And they might even have me like redo a test to make sure that I'm okay. competent. I was just curious, like yeah. you had the volume accidentally turned down or something. No, I did it on purpose because I didn't want to listen to because I was tuned into these guys. Yeah, no, no, no yeah. just hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. And like I said, we got out here and it wasn't busy, so I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Say again. That badass mansion. Oh yeah, man. This is this is just wild living, man. Don't get me wrong, I'm not criticizing. I'm about it. Oh yeah. Us lives at. We can go by. We'll get a picture on the water right in front of his spot. <laughs> Got kayakers up ahead. You ever uh, get attacked by the swan? Attacked by a swan? Yeah, there's swans um, over where we pass the houses. Yeah. Yeah, pretty aggressive, actually. That's wild. I never even thought of that, man. Yeah, we were on a jet ski once, and then the girl on the back starts freaking out. And and turned out the swan was, like, all up in her grill. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing ever, man. <laughs> They're just, like, very protective of them. That's crazy. Yeah, in, uh, in Orlando, there's this big park um, that has dozens of swans. But I'd never seen them be aggressive. I'm sure there's plenty of stories, though. I've only been to that park maybe four or five times. But I, so this is our base model. This is 359, comes as is. Carbon fiber tub, AOA, these, uh, this navigation system. The upgrade is 384 and it adds autopilot. So you can literally push a button, the airplane will hold a straight level at a certain altitude on its own. And then- uh, They won't turn. Yeah, it won't turn. Like it can fly straight level for you. And it can even, if you can even automate it to do a, tur a turn at a certain point. So let's say we're flying and it's like, I want to tell it once we hit over this, that once we fly over this point, I want you to turn to another heading. You can automate it so it'll do it for you. This tells you where your helipads are. Yeah, all the airports, everything. So you can see who's got registered helicopters and stuff. Even though they don't need it, like the reason that they do it is because it's just pure ego. So you show up on a map. <laughs> Down to 6,000 from the Alright, let me get this paddle ready too. These kayakers are interesting, they don't know what they want to do. This is the most nerdy thing I do in this. Let me get my paddle ready. I got eyes on the dock. This is my 
tell you to throw me this line, okay? We're gonna have to get these lines ready. There's two, there's one on your side and one on my side. So it's in the pocket, the side pocket there. So take it, unwrap the... Yep, take this cam, push the button on the top of the cam, and then you see where this buckle is? Below that, on the outside, there's a hole. Are you where? Below this, on the outside, there's a hole. You push that button and you throw that cam in there. There. All right, cool. Make sure it's secure so it doesn't come out. Cool. So, then put the rope back, the rest of the rope back in. So if I'm off, see where, the, where it wants to weather vane. Tweet, we're going right into the wind. Okay, so the very end of the dock, I'm going to put the part that's floating of the dock right here. I'm going to be stepping on here. I'm going to, I want to be able to stop the plane, reach out and stop the plane with my foot. So you're going to be on the pedals now. I'm going to tell you whether or not I need right or left, okay? Okay. Go ahead, take your headset off too. Before 
you get out, a couple things you're gonna do. Um, turn the camera 